My name is Dr. Paul Zickler, and I want to speak to you today about making our bathroom safer, specifically in the areas of slippery floors and showers or bathtubs, low toilet seats, shower chairs not slip resistant, and insufficient grab bars. And it's important to think about these things because in the U.S. there are 230,000 non-fatal falls in seniors a year. And the National Council of Aging has stated that there is a, a fatal fall every 19 minutes in seniors, and a significant portion of those um, are related to the bathroom. So number one is the grab bars. Grab bars come in various sizes. It's important to look and to see if it's a horizontal and vertical. They each have specific places to be put and that is dependent on the size of the person that's using the bathtub. And it has to be in a place where it's going to be easily accessible and provide the maximum support. They have to be large enough to be fixed onto the studs of the bathroom. And these will provide support to get in and out of the bathroom or shower, as well as preventing falls when one slips so that one has to grab onto a device to prevent the fall. And those bars um, should be about one and a half inches in diameter with a, a, with a non-slip surface and usually made of stainless steel which is rust resistant. The bathroom floors and the bathtub and the shower floors should have a non-slip mat in them or on the tile floors in the bathroom itself. There are stick-on non-slip pads that one can on the floor as well and that will prevent you from slipping. The other important thing about using those shower mats is that those shower mats should be washed and cleaned and dried before it's next use because the soap residue will actually make them more slippery. Number two is to remove the bathroom rugs or replace them with rugs that are non-slipping. And I would think that the more senior the person is, it's best to take them all out because even the non-slip mats, the edge of them can make you slip. So pasting on the non-slip pads on the tile floor would really make it much, much, much better. Keeping essentials like soaps, uh, shampoos, conditioner within reach with the utensil holders is important. So you have to define where that is for that particular person using the uh, bathroom facilities. You may want to think of doing some major renovations to your bathroom um, to consider a walk-in tub. You can certainly get some appliances to help you with a shower seat that's made specifically to go in the shower. that are non-slip use and transfer benches that will help you to get into the shower which is about 13 inches high and the, and the lip of the shower is about 4 to 5 inches high so those grab bars will also help you to get into the tub or the shower itself. They also make a, a specific electronic a crib that will lower you into the tub and pick you back up into a sitting position and then to get be able to get out of the bathtub. And a very significant item in this renovation would be the raised toilet seat. As we get older and have more difficulty with our joints, it's much easier to get up from a toilet with handles and a raised seat into a standing position from a sitting position. Also, it provides support because as, as we get older, our ability to adjust our blood pressure as we stand sometimes makes us feel faint and having those support handlebars there prevents a fall. The other thing that we don't consider enough is sufficient lighting. Is the whole area got sufficient lighting? Specifically in the, in the night because as we get older, we're going to be using the, the washroom facilities more frequently. So good lighting is mandatory. One of the other things that is important when you're looking at a shower or having a seat in the shower is to make sure the adjustable shower head is there and is in the proper position for the person to be able to use it easily. Make sure and secure all electric appliances are not exposed to water or you may just want to remove them completely. And last of all, Make sure that the hot water temperature is appropriate for warmth in, the, in terms of the shower and tub 
but not to scald you. And usually the maximum temperature is 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 40, 45 degrees centigrade when you adjust your hot water tank. So today I'd like you to follow the links in our blog to, um, to the products that will make your bathroom a lot safer. And I thank you very much.